Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. Today, I'm going to introduce you to the video about connecting H20 with A8 and C10 cameras. This video is divided into three parts, introducing the required materials, wiring process, and checking whether the camera images can be normally displayed on the remote controller. The materials needed for this video include a battery, an A8 camera, a C10 camera, an H20 receiver, an H20 SBU's plus power cable, an A8 power cable, a modified power and network control cable, a self-made A8 video transmission cable, and an H20 remote controller. These are all the materials required for this video. Next, let's proceed to the wiring process. First, connect the network port 1 of the C10 to the H20 using the power and network control cable. It has three connectors, a GH1.257 pin connector, a GH1.254 pin connector, and a power connector. Connect the GH1.257 pin connector to the C10, and then connect the GH1.254 pin connector to the network port 0 of the H20 receiver. Next, connect the video transmission port of the A8 to the network port 2 of the H20 using the A8 video transmission cable. It has two connectors, a GH1.259 pin connector and a GH1.254 pin connector. Connect the GH1.259 pin connector to the A8 camera, and then connect the GH1.254 pin connector to the network port 1 of the H20 receiver. After that, power up the H20 receiver using the H20 SBU's plus power cable. It has three connectors, a GH1.25 6-pin connector, a 2.54mm 3-pin DuPont connector, and a power connector. Connect the GH1.25 6-pin connector to the H20 SBU's plus power port, and then connect the power connector to the battery. Finally, power on C10. Power on A8 with the A8 power cord. The A8 power cord has two connectors, which are the power connector and the GH1.254 pin connector. This completes the wiring process. The last part is to check whether the A8 camera and C10 camera can be normally displayed on the H20 remote controller. First, check whether the C10 can be normally displayed on the remote controller. Open the SkyDroid FPV software on the remote controller. Slide it up, down, left, and right. Then click the fourth icon at the bottom and select Pan Tilt Control. In the new page, select Enable Joystick to perform normal control. If you want to flip the image, click the fourth icon at the bottom, click Other Settings, and you can achieve the image flip. Finally, let's check whether the A8 camera can be normally displayed on the remote controller. Open the software circled in the video image. Slide it up, down, left, and right. If the displayed image is normal, it means the connection is successful. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more, please remember to follow us.